Hello and welcome back to Mod and Pop Thrift. Our sales have been out of this world. Good morning guys, it is 7.30 a.m. and there are 31 items going out on Monday morning and I shipped on Saturday. And you guys have already seen that, I think. All right, good morning, welcome back to Mod and Pop Thrift. My name is Tom and we kind of already did some introductions. I'm a stay-at-home dad for five kids. Uh, got one on the way and I'm a full-time eBay reseller. Um, 31 going out today. I've got a bunch of it already pulled because I knew I was going to be behind. Sales were just coming in hot and heavy. And so I started pulling things uh, while I was still shipping stuff. Like I was pulling other stuff that was selling right now, knowing that I'd have to pull it this morning. So my sales really jumped over the weekend. I, like I was hovering around that $200 mark a day for sales um, over the last seven days, like 183, 280, 130, 1, 225, 230, and then 135. And then all of a sudden, um, Saturday was 350 and uh, Sunday was 412. So really good weekend, solid weekend out of this world if you will i'm only at 15 dollars today but it's only eight o'clock on a monday morning so so um we already talked about the destroyer book uh set that's one of the 31 that has to go out today and uh i was like oh man i really uh can't think of this other book well somebody commented doc savage and they come in and a couple other things one that i'd never heard of but uh, Doc Savage was one that I made a ton of money on out of the hoarder house. And then um, Conan, I wouldn't, because a lot of these are like action adventure, like modern day spy, uh, like born identity, uh, James Bondy kind of things. So I wouldn't necessarily consider Conan part of what I was talking about then. But Conan the Adventurer books with like Schwarzenegger or Schwarzenegger-esque characters on the front are fantastic in paperback, in lots. Uh, some of those are really good individuals. But uh, Doc Savage, thank you, WTF, for remembering that on my behalf. Uh, picked up this Rogue. Rogue is workout equipment. This is a just as plain as it can be men's medium t-shirt. Uh, I picked it up for five bucks and I thought at the time that the sell-through rate was like outlandish, like 600% or something. And that happens to me from time to time that like uh, the comps that I see in the store and the comps that I see when I get home are different. I don't know if I'm using different keywords or if uh, I, you know that your search results are manipulated by eBay. And I don't know for the good, for the bad, why, what they're doing that for but you don't always get the same search results exactly and it probably has to do with promoted listings and it probably has to do with uh your location there are people who conspiracy theories who think that like ebay will intentionally show you if you're in new york things that are from california because they make money on the uh, ebay on the fees of the shipping too. And so there are, I don't necessarily believe that, but I do believe there's probably some logistics and some promoted listings and some keyword search and some new listing stuff and some people who fell below standard in the time that you, between searching. So when you search something five or six times in a week, you're gonna get some different results. I don't know what I did thinking that this was at 600, but by the time I was editing the video, I was like, that's not right what I just said. It's not right now to what I'm looking at. But Rogue is a very good uh, brand of wor of workout equipment for sure. But the, the brand recognition carries over to being good for things like this to shirts, jackets, uh, workout wear, athleisure. Old Nintendo stuff. Just stuff that didn't really go with anything else. This is how you're supposed to clean your Nintendo. You're not supposed to blow into it. Um, you're supposed to put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on there. Insert this in. Squish it around. Pull it back out. 
It's called the Eliminator. It eliminates dust from the inside of your machine. It also stretches the pins out and makes the games not read after a while. But this, um, and then like Wii, like this is a door to a Wii, and this is a, a back door to a blue Wii controller. And then like this is a insert out of a 64 game and this is an insert out of an original nintendo game just stuff that like none of this stuff is worth listing individually but i listed it all together and it sold for 750 plus shipping it was just the bottom of a pile of stuff that i was listing i was like oh i can lot all that together just the car guy shirt no specific ip branding like that's probably a 30 something buick but there isn't any buick like and maybe somebody who knows cars better than I do will tell me different. But there isn't that that's some other kind of car. But there isn't, like, it doesn't have an insignia on it. This isn't a specific car shirt. This is a generic car shirt. And it doesn't have a size tag. However, it's probably a 2X just looking at it. It does say Spring Hill, which is a little bit hard to see. But Spring Hill makes shirts like this that are not specific branding, but cool. And they do relatively well. That name brand is something that I'll pick up. If I'm like on the fence and it doesn't say Spring Hill, maybe I'd pass. If I'm on the fence and then I see, oh, it's a Spring Hill. That's a graphic that has a little bit of a following. Enough to put me over the fence. It's not something where I'm like, oh my gosh, like a old Toltex Giants tag or uh, something like that. Octonauts. Old kids TV shows for children that have been discontinued. The toys uh, do reasonably well. I picked these up for a quarter a piece at a garage sale. They sold for $14.99 for... I'm not going to think of their names. Because these are uh, like kind of obscure characters. This guy's name is Turnip. He's a turnip. And he goes, me, 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 me. He doesn't talk. Um, Dr. I don't remember. Anyway, these are characters from Octonauts. And they are... Like, Octonauts is one of those shows where they don't make the toys anymore. But it's still on Netflix. And so it's popular enough that the toys will still sell. Uh, 15 bucks. These are not Monster High dolls. These are Ever After High dolls. So they're like the generic equivalent, but they're put out by the same company for parents who don't like the monster aspect, I suspect. So these are Ever After kind of fairy tale dolls. Um, this one sold a long time ago and it came back like no such address. I think, hold on a minute. So I did find, this is the return shipping label, and it doesn't show the guy's address, and my address has changed. Oh, jeez. That's the wrong address. That's old enough that it's two houses ago. This is from April, from August 2020, when I didn't live at that address anymore, but I was new enough in my new address that it forwarded. Anyhow, that thing, I shipped this girl out. Uh to a buyer who didn't who the the package says no mail receptacle something uh return to sender no mail receptacle unable to forward return to sender and so i waited for the customer to file a item not received case they never did and then i kind of just forgot about it and because if I let them file a not received, I put the email in and show that it returned to sender, I would I would be better covered with the, uh, or I believed that at the time. Anyway, this was two years ago. And then I found this thing in the death pile and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Um, that has been three years. I'm just going to relist it at this point. Uh, I don't even think I could find the buyer's information if I wanted to. If you guys follow ADH Dave, a.k.a. the NC Picker, he just had a situation with like an $800 um, 
sign that essentially the same thing happened and he just auto gave the guy his money back without ever hearing anything from the customer as to what they wanted, which I think is ill-advised. Um, and anyway, if something comes back to you, uh, because they didn't have a place to receive their own mail, um, you're not super responsible for that. Like you could be the bigger person and give the person and reach out and try and give that person their money back. But as far as eBay is concerned, you completed the transaction. And unless they tell you there's a problem, then eBay's not going to make you give the money back. And even if eBay, like in that situation, if two months had passed and the person's like, hey, I never got this, all I would have to do is look up the tracking number and give it to eBay. And then it would just, I would, I would probably still have to give them their money back, but it would just, it would, it wouldn't become a ding on my account. Anyway, these are ever afters that are like, I don't want my girl playing with monsters, but these are high quality dolls and they're popular. So we're going to do ever after fairy tales instead of monsters. At least that's the impression that I get. I could be totally off base, but I know those are the same quality and I'm really relatively certain they're the same manufacturer as the monster high dolls. And they very seem very similar to monster high dolls but they're not quite as desirable and they are, they're a little less valuable, but I would definitely pick them up. These two sold for uh, $14 plus shipping. So they would be, they're not like the first wave crazy stuff from ever from monster high, but they're desirable for dolls that you find for not very many dollars. Uh, $12 and 49 cents. I have said a bunch of times ripple junction, I think is going to be a uh, desirable label in the distant future. 15 years from now, Ripple Junction, people will be looking for Ripple Junction shirts. They're quality, they're really good screen printing, and they're always good, almost always good IP. They're, this is Schoolhouse Rock, Knowledge is Power, uh, and this is, this sold for... 1246 this one doesn't seem to be dated doesn't matter it sold schoolhouse rock is an iconic ip and that's fun cuisinard picked this up for eight dollars and fifty cents it picked it up and gave myself a hernia I didn't really give myself a hernia. I've had that happen. That's no fun at all. Um, actually, I wasn't picking stuff up. I had surgery and it went awry and my surgical scar herniated. And that's a story for another day or maybe not for another day. Anyway, um, I'm well healed from that. So don't worry about that. That was before I ever started full-time stay-at-home dadding. Um, but that Cuisinart Food process, Cuisinart and food processors as different things do well. Cuisinart food processors do super well. Uh, this is the second one that I've sold, and the, this buyer's all in at 132. The other buyer was in all in at 150. Um, Cuisinart food processors, like a Black and Decker food processor, would do well. A KitchenAid food processor would uh, food processor would do super well. But Cuisinart food processors, there's one that I think you have to be careful of because it's a recalled. And so you can get a ding from it. So be careful to make sure that you're not, what you're listing isn't bad. But anything, this that one's like mid-90s. It's old. So if you're finding newer ones, you should be in the clear. And they just, I'm really surprised at how well they perform. Um... Cuisinart food processor sold for $124 free shipping. I paid $8 for it and it was listed for like four days. F Firestone, Firestone Tires Country Club in Akron, Ohio. If you know anything about geography, um, Akron, Ohio is n not like not a stone's throw, not the next town over, but very close to uh, Detroit where m cars were made. And most of the last century. And so uh, that is a country club in Akron, Ohio, that is affiliated with the Firestone Tire Company, and uh, which was a close affiliate of Ford, and kind of still is, I think. Uh, 
And that was, as I just said, a gas and oil related thing on the hat. So I picked it up for a dollar out of a garbage bag full of hats at an estate sale. Uh, gas and oil, Sinclair. This is not the same Sinclair. I got like three or four of these Sinclair oil cans. And this one sold for $29 free shipping. And it's not in as good a shape. The other one that sold for $24. I took an offer on and it was in better shape, but it was plus shipping. Um, so probably the buyers ended up about the same, but this one has some just like shelf, really hard shelfware for a can like this. Um, anyway, these Sinclair, Sinclair is iconic, especially across Disney properties as it turns out. When I was showing the things, I was like, this is all Disney stuff. Dinosaurs, Earl Sinclair, of dinosaurs is named Sinclair because he became oil, fossil fuel, if you will. So that's fun, funny um, thing. Anyway, um, also, I'll put it up here. Something about Pee Wee Herman, uh, the Pee Wee either Big Top, <laughs> Big Adventure, something about uh one of the peewee movies has a really big sinclair reference maybe it's not sinclair maybe it's just the dinosaur anyway that's everything that i have pulled already so i'm going to get this stuff shipped and then we'll do some more stuff all right so we have a handful of other things i got all of that stuff shipped um this is a sabatier Sabatier, um, a French Sabatier. See if I can focus that. Maybe you can see that. Um, it's for sharpening knives. And this one doesn't appear to have a lot of use on it. That is a quality name brand. Levi picked it up and he's like, Dad, look at this weird sword. And I'm like, let me see it. And I was like, it's made in France. It feels old. It's got really nice brass, uh, handles uh connections for the two handle scabbard i don't remember knife people would know those those have a name anyway the, it felt higher quality than just to be any fabroware knife sharpener so i looked it up and it's uh, i listed it for 36 plus shipping it's probably been listed for three or four months and it listed and it sold for 30 dollars plus shipping. Okay, so this is going to be what's essentially the end of part one of this video. It ended up being 40 minutes long and my phone simply cannot process a video 40 minutes long at all. So I'm uh, going to have to cut it in half and part two is coming soon. We'll see you over there. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing to this video and then going to watch the next. We'll see you over there in a minute.